Hey tasters! Every now and then, a wine lover needs to ask themselves, does size matter? Let me put it another way. What is the distinguishing characteristic of a high quality sparkling wine? Many claim it's the bubbles. As with sex, diamonds and most importantly, fonts, the size of sparkling wine bubbles is important. But that's not the same as saying bigger is better. The size of the bubbles is determined by the amount of the CO2 gas in the wine. There is in fact a tradition that claims that when it comes to sparkling wine bubbles, the smaller the better. In other words, the finer the bubbles, the better the sparkling wine. This half-truth may have been propagated by the fact that older sparkling wines have finer bubbles. Not surprising, as with ageing so often comes a somewhat diminished vigour, by which I mean of course that some of the CO2 has been dissolved. The fact of the matter is that when tasting young and uh, perky sparkling wines, the bigger the bubbles, the more CO2 gas is released, and with it, more aromatics reach our noses. And uh, let's face it, that tickle on the tongue is irresistible. Of course, if you're attracted to more aged, more sedate sparkling wine, that's fine too. We are drawn to a well-aged champagne, for example, for the elegance, the complex character, the sophistication. If there are some bubbles left, that's just a boner. That's just the bonus. But in this context, no one's really going to complain if the bubbles are not so in your face, as it were. The fact is that if you're fortunate enough to be enjoying a 40-year-old champagne, you're not doing it for the bubbles. This Greek sparkling wine by Telepos Winery is quite a find. Price-wise, it's an absolute bargain, but that in itself is not the point. The point is, is it any good? And it's better than good. It's amazing. It is made with 100% Moscofilero from the winery's privately owned vineyard. I don't know how well you know this grape, but Moscofilero is intensely aromatic. My friend Mateo Harin from Wine on the Rocks calls Moscofilero baby Gewurz because its aromatic profile can be reminiscent of Gewurztraminer. Lychees, rose petals, citrus, apricots, and hints of exotic spice. But there is one key difference between most expressions of Gewurztraminer and Moscovillero, and this is these Greek grapes' exquisite acidity. Moscovillero is a bright, refreshing wine which makes it ideal for sparkling wines. This uh, Greek sparkling wine is called Amalia, after the winemaker's wife. The grapes are harvested early, raising the potential acidity of this wine even higher. The base wine then undergoes a second fermentation in the bottle, as per the traditional method, to produce this beauty. Elegant. With shimmering flecks of gold. It is floral, it is fruity, with delicious hints of freshly baked tsureki. Pure gorgeousness. And that's why I've chosen Amalia to celebrate today. What are we celebrating? Darlings, this is Wine Scribble's 100th video. I have had a video released for one hundred weeks now. So, to all those ex-boyfriends who told me that I had problems with commitment, it's not me, it's you. 
you are not as much fun as making YouTube videos. Darlings, if I have never dated you, please like and subscribe and leave me a comment. Ah, the mousse, the bubbles just tickle your tongue so deliciously. I just can't help myself. Cheers. I'll see you next week.